So you guys, let me show you how to get a mobile auto clicker, and this will work for Chromebook or any Android device, including your Android tablet and, and Android phone. So let's get right into this video. So the first thing you guys want to do is open up Google Play Store, which is pretty simple to do. Once you have opened up Google Play Store, now type in auto clicker. Once you have typed in auto clicker, you have two different choices. Both of these actually work, and I've used both of these before. We have the auto clicker, the first one that comes up. This one has a couple of higher reviews. Even though it says 3.2 stars, these still work perfectly fine. I don't know why they get low ratings because they work perfectly perfectly fine so we got the irregular this auto clicker right here this one has a hundred million downloads and then we have the op auto clicker auto tap that says one million downloads and i did actually make a full video on this one in itself so if you guys are interested in that you guys can go check that out but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and download both of these and essentially what you have to do is go ahead and open these after you've downloaded them you can choose whichever one you want i'm gonna go over all the settings and basically how it works so there's two different modes single target mode and multi-target mode multi-target mode makes it where you can click multiple things on the screen at the same time where single Single target mode is just clicking at one specific spot the entire time. If we click on the settings gear, we can change the interval, which is how fast it's clicking, and the duration, so how long it's actually holding down for. I put those both on one because I want the fastest clicking speed possible. And then down here, which says click repeat. So this actually means choose a condition to click. So basically, so basically, this is going to be if it's going to loop, if it's going to click 10 times and then stop, if it's going to repeat for 30 minutes, you know, just whatever. So you guys can basically go and change these settings. You can make it a certain amount of time, certain amount of clicks and or just repeat until stop this is the basic part of the auto clicker but we do also have some macro files and basically if you set up something with the multi-target i believe it will save in the macro files so that it's clicking in multiple different locations and that way you can save it and use it for later which is a really helpful tool they also have troubleshooting if anyone actually needs that you have common settings so basically if you need this will this little arrow will pop up on your screen whenever you start using the auto clicker and it will show you like where your your auto clicker is going to be clicking and you can change the size transparency See all of this different stuff within this tool. This has different modes such as phone mode. This is if you're on a uh, Chromebook and there's also tablet mode so you can kind of just drag this around wherever you need it. This is actually really good for AFKing in a lot of different games I would say because you know it's just kind of overpowered. But now we're looking at the multi-targets mode so interval the delay between the delay time before executing the next action so how long it is before it moves on to the next click so let's say there's one click on the right of the screen there's one click on the left what is the time in between it takes to switch back and forth essentially between those two the click duration the swipe duration uh so that's if you want it to swipe anti-detection simulate human-like action so basically if you're playing some game that's going to kick you if you're not using specific you know it doesn't look like a human then you guys can use that and then of course there's the action repeat so the conditions 30 minutes and yeah guys that is the basic op auto clicker rundown but we're going to go ahead and look at the other auto clicker here in a second that we've already downloaded and this one is very similar if not almost the same other than it has ads on it and it basically functions functions almost the exact same i really don't see too much of a difference um i don't i'm not going to go into that much detail on this because this this one's a little bit more buggy than the other one in my personal opinion those are both of the auto clickers that you guys can use on mobile if this video helped you guys out at all please make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe it means a lot it would help me out a ton trying to reach 100,000 by the end of the year and we're getting kind of close so that would be uh, much appreciated anyways i'll see you guys in the next one